Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today I'm doing something uh, different and a little bit interesting. Um, we're going to be upgrading one of our pinball machines gas plasma displays to LEDs. And I thought, why don't I, uh, why don't I buy one of the kits instead of get the actual complete put together components and build it myself. So that's what I'm doing. This is from a, a company called Pinatech. You can see there's their boards. And it comes in a, in a little kit form, and you can save quite a bit of money doing this. Although, if you're, you know, if you really want to minimize your, this is more of a hobbyist fun thing to do than necessarily efficient, because the amount of money you you uh, save, you make up for in time. And of course, you should be somewhat experienced, because if you mess this up, then you've spent money and it doesn't work. But it's actually pretty quite quite simple to do. And the instructions are relatively straightforward. And uh, I'll show you what I'm doing here. So right now I'm just putting resistors on the board. And uh, they're all marked on the circuit board. Uh, and I'll go through them one at a time and uh, put the, the resistors in. And so these are run through right here. So right now I'm doing these 20K resistors. There's, there's five here and there's one here and there's one there. And when you get these kits, you know, you, on their website, there's a complete uh, PDF. So you get this, and I'm print, I printed it out, obviously. And this goes over the whole process of building displays and then a list of all the different components. And, you know, obviously you check all the components when they get there, make sure you got them. And then this is kind of what the display looks like. And uh, here's one that's, that I've already put together. They come with these neat little felt things to keep the light from bleeding around. And so this, I've already done all the segment things. I'm doing a whole complete set. So there's going to be five of these, one for each player, as well as the score. And uh, you can see the solder work is not too bad. Uh, this is a great way of really getting your soldering skills kind of honed in, you know, because um, it's uh, relatively easy to do. And uh, it's a, I, I, to me, it's kind of like a Zen thing just to be able to relax and kind of do this. So I've got, I've got those done and now I'm just working on the rest of the boards. And then there's step-by-step -step instructions about here's what you do and here's what you do, blah, blah, blah. So... Right now, I'm going to. I'm, I, I did one board completely already, and uh, now I'm uh, just going through and I'm going to assembly line the, the remaining four. So I'm doing them one step at a time. So I'm right here on the step four, soldering the 20K ohm resistors. So let's do that, and you can follow along with me. And I've got my little thing here, a little magnifying thing, which kind of definitely helps. And I will begin. Oh, one other thing. When you're soldering, use these these fans. Make a huge difference. They're, they're noisy and annoying, but it's better that than the toxic fumes from the soldering. Obviously, when you're on location, you don't always have the luxury of being able to have one of those solder fans. See, this is a little Hako right up there. And uh, it works quite well. So I've got my soldering iron set to about between 660 and 680 degrees Fahrenheit. And what I'll do is I'll look through here, touch a little bit, sink through. And you want to kind of do it a little bit at a time. You don't want to, you don't want to sit on there too long. Let's see if you can, you can see that. Probably not, huh? It's not too bad. All right, so let's just uh, zip through the rest of them. So I'm gonna apply a reasonable amount of pressure to, so you can get that heat to transfer to the board. And I'll hit the pad and the lead at the same time. I like keeping a little bit of the solder on the tip of the uh, soldering iron because it makes it easier to introduce more. Heat it up, drop. Heat it up, drop. Heat it up, drop. 
I'll, I'll look as I'm going along. Move these out of the way. And I've got these three right here left to do. So I'll take them. Depending upon the component, you want to be more or less careful with the solder. These are resistors. They're fairly heat tolerant. I'd be a little bit more careful and precise with uh, the, the LED displays or integrated circuits. You want to kind of get in there, touch it, melt everything, let it go out. One lead left. Right there. Just a little bit. So then I'll take my clipper and I'll clip these off. nice so there's our, our completed ones right here and then up top nicely soldered in and I'll take a look at those make sure everything is uh, looks good no cold solder joints or anything and then I'll be just moving on so I'm going to be putting the integrated circuits in here, a few capacitors here and there, and uh, just working my way, building these boards, and then I'll show you in another video what they look like. I'll try to show you the before and after, because I'm replacing those um, plasma things that are the orange ones. This is going to be a nice blue LED. It's going to go on a, a Bally hot dog, and, and which is a kind of a bluish looking machine anyway, so I'm kind of going to think it's going to look pretty nice. So... Um, Stay tuned for more. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, please be sure to visit me on pinballhelp.com, the main website, and um, subscribe to Instagram and Twitter and, uh, and all that. That's it. Thanks for watching.